What's up, everybody? Today we are going to be playing some Kumba Karna. I might use this skin too. Last time I used this skin on YouTube, uh, I think it was bugged. Or did I even get a game out with it? I don't know. Uh, there was a point in time where I had like three recorded games I was going to edit, and I never got around to it because I was so busy. And now the gameplay's old, and I can't edit it without it being obvious of how old it is because it was before Reggie, Boots, and it was on the old map. But either way, uh, this skin is no longer bugged, and it's cool. So we're going to use it. I've been loving playing Kumba Karna lately uh, because of Sunder. I would say Kumba was at was strongest when Sunder was good in duel. And then he fell off. And then now that Sunder's good in duel again, uh, I've been having some su success. Uh, I wouldn't say he's, like, the best. But, I mean, in terms of being able to win, you could definitely do it on Kumba, so... Yeah. Uh, we'll go blink, uh, blink Sunder unless I need an Aegis or something wacky like that, or a Sprint. Depends on what he builds. I could have started that way earlier. Let's back these up. Oh, I hate when that happens. Uh, my throwback hit the middle minion, even though I was behind the left minion, and that actually slows down my clear by a lot. Because when you throw a minion, it does more damage. And it would have hit the other minion. And it would have hit the other smaller minion. So, yeah, a lot of wasted. Let's fling, slingshot this. Yeah, we got to lane a lot slower than he did because of that. And because he started red. That's okay. We're about equally poked right now. I use my two to immune a lot of his damage too, which is cool. It's pretty good. Okay, I might be able to sunder him here. No, he's under me too. Okay, keep in mind he has his alt, but I also have my passive if I'm behind minions. So, you know, a little bit of both. <laughs> I'm so lucky that uh, I got my throwback off. My one. Oh, that's so good. He had very little mana, too. Alright, let's back. My red buff is up, but we just gotta get on out of here. Tier 2 Bancrofts, Chalice. And let's go. I love this skin, man. It's so funny. Kumba gets to be himself. The princess that Kumba's always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to place a ward here. So the plan is to get upgraded Sunder, get Soul Reaver, get all that good stuff, and try to one-shot him. I don't know if I can get Polly against on her, but... Also, if you didn't notice, the trick I'm doing is I'm using my one. And then when you use your one, the minion will be launched whichever way your camera is facing. So you can get some cool plays like that. And clear the wave when you're coming from the side. Oh, he's in a bad spot now. Oh, unless he does that. Oh no, he altered the wave. He's an on her main. On her mains, alt the wave. Beside mains, alt blue buff. And ho ye mains, alt red. That's, that'll make the rules. They do. If I had full Bancrofts, I think I would be able to kill him. But because I don't, I can't kill him. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Nah, I can't kill him. We need more damage. Uh, let's go get uh, my speed, I suppose. We're winning right now, though. We're winning by, you know, a little bit. We just need to keep this lead. 
Yeah, with Koombas 1, what you can do is you can actually, like, let's say a minion's over here and a god's over here. I can use my 1 this way and completely turn around and fling it behind me. It's so fun. <laughs> it's a cool mechanic. I love things like that in Smite. However, it is one of those things that kind of puts, uh, like, if you play on console, you are at a disadvantage with that. You, unfortunately... Uh, unless you play like max sensitivity, which would be bad on console, I imagine, because that would make it hard to aim things like on hunters. Uh, you, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, unfortunate, unfortunate, but that's just the way it is a little bit. Ow. Stop guarding this land. Start guarding this guy. There you go. Oh wow, I kill all the minions. I don't even have to use my two anymore. My damage is insane. All right, let's uh, uh, upgrade Thunder already. And we're gonna go for a Breastplate of Valor because cooldown is super important on Kumba. I would prefer to have max cooldown late game. And the rest of my build is just gonna be pure power. Like Rod of 2D, Soul Reaver, maybe Typhons if he doesn't get anti-heal. Even if he does, it might not be bad. But just to make my abilities do as much as possible. My two is also super good in this matchup. Uh, I really like it. Although, maybe I should save it for when he tries to leap on me and stuff like that. A lot of times I suffer against on her for when he leaps. Also, if you're wondering why I wake him up early, uh, with Kumba's three, if you wake them up, their attack speed gets reduced. And I think they get slowed as well. But if they... If they aren't woken up early, then they don't get the, the debuff. So that's why I usually like auto attack before it runs out and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, he would have gotten it off too. Let's say I died there though. I think he would have had it back off because he was so low. My arches would have killed him, and I was in my you know I would have went nap time so. Yeah, I think we would have been fine even if I did die there. Or I shouldn't say died, but if my health went to zero because of my passive. Speaking Kumba passive is always a, a curse and a blessing. Most of the time it's useless, but every now and then you get, you get some good stuff with it. Uh, I find it super useful against melee gods. Against melee gods, it makes Goomba so much better. But against hunters and stuff, eh. Most of the time, they just end up killing you anyways. More pillows. They should brace my fall. Yeah, let's go blink. We we have a... Uh, we'll leave it like this. I like having both Sunder and Blink on my first relic. So when I get both, it's always kind of awkward. That's okay. Now, if he gets horrific, that would suck. But... I just want to push this lead right now. And to do that, I want to get Blink right away. So we have more opportunities to kill them. To kill them. It's so strange that so many of my Guardians are better on this map than the other map. I, I'm just so surprised by it. I think it's the timing with when the wave gets there as well. I don't know. But, I mean, on the other map, I would play Kumba and you just fall behind and you can't come back. That's just how it feels. Oh, you leaped in place, huh? Let's hit him with another one. That does a lot of damage. Ah, uh, did he not have his ult? He should have ulted there. But once I yawned him, it was like, he had no opportunity to. Wow, I do so much damage. All I wish is that I did a little bit more Phoenix damage, but we're only eight minutes into this game. So how could I wish for something like that? Also, he's getting Aussie. Let's get Divine. That gives pen and power, which is perfect for us.
Yeah, lately I've been just trying to get a little gameplay of all the Guardians I like to play, uh, which includes Kumba, but also mostly because uh, people are commenting for it. So someone asked for Kumba, so I was like, yeah, I can get some Kumba for you. Oh, I missed. That would have done so much damage. He lives. There's no way I get him here. Unless. Oh, my, my ult didn't go off. Nap time? Maybe? No. What? He, does, he has no attack speed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more. Oh. You know what's funny? Is if I didn't dash out of Phoenix, I actually would have revived. Because he wouldn't have been able to get as many autos off. Because the time I was taking to dash out of Phoenix, uh, he was in the air. And if I died earlier, my passive would have started while he wouldn't have been able to auto attack me. But then I would have revived at, like, the edge of Phoenix, which would have been terrible. But, I mean, might have given me the opportunity to take him with me. I didn't mean to get hit by his pillar. I mean, his stun there uh, in, in Phoenix. I meant to just ult him, but he got behind his pillar and I couldn't get the angle. I think at that point it would have been safer to just ult out. Whenever a play goes badly, I always like to think about it and think what went wrong and identify what I could have done better. I don't know. I think it, it helps me in the long run. Like, maybe consider some options I didn't think about at the time. Like, ulting out definitely would have worked. Bro, if he just ults every wave, that's super lame. Wait, are you actually coming out of your Phoenix? I do not recommend this for you. If you do, hey, let's party. Let's party on her. You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? I have my high heels on. I didn't think so. Didn't hit him, unfortunately. Okay, we have two minion waves here. Uh-oh, I didn't hit him. But we are low health with Bancrofts. This is kind of good. Oh, okay. He has Aussie. That's fine. I don't have my passive. So, I think I'm just going to try to pressure here because he doesn't have Zalt or anything like that. And then we leave. Oh, he got me with it. No. Woo. Maybe with Breastplate? I have an idea. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the wall caught it, dude. That's so funny. That's so funny. How much would I my one have hit for? My one would have hit for uh, 432 damage. I think that would have killed him, man. But the, the minion got caught on the wall. I thought that would have been so cool. You gotta go for those plays, man. That would have been so cool, but I uh, got caught on the wall. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get a Soul Reaper. He doesn't have that much health, but it's just really good on Kumba. I feel like that's an often feedback for a lot of my videos, is just buy Soul Reaver every game. And most of the time I buy it as a counter item, but on Kumba, I think even if your opponent doesn't build too much health, it gives a lot of damage with your... Mostly because he relies on Sunder so much. You know, I Sunder... I have two Sunder two one all two one or whatever. Not in that order, but based on my cooldowns. 
We might need more pen too. He has double defense. Man, it'd be really cool if this guy uh, wasn't so tanky. Okay. We need to just go for a red buff, yeah. That double defense is too good for him. It's too good. Oh, that's down. We should give up our tower pretty soon. I mean, we're f almost 15 minutes into the game. It doesn't matter too much if I lose it. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Maybe a rod of 2D. No, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna use my throwback, but then I realized he's just gonna kill me. Gosh, they all fight like a bunch of evil. The, the sucky part is I have to fight here. Your middle phoenix is under attack. Oh, this guy. Is he actually going to try to stop me here? My ult is up in 27 seconds. Hey, he's taking Phoenix damage. My ult's up in 16 seconds. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. Five seconds. But I might wait for my Sunder, too. And you're dead! Wait, what? Now you're dead. <laughs> Damn, he's tanky. He do be tanky, and I only have 10 pen. So, yeah. If I want pen, I need, I'm going to need something. What's sucky is Karen's coin's not that great in duel. Like, if I rushed it, maybe. But at this point, I can't imagine I get more than, like, three more kills maximum. So I'm, I'm thinking about Rod of 2D. I'm thinking about those items with, like, 10% pen. But also gives a ton of damage in other ways. I can't really take anything right now. No glass slippers. I'm not planning to be fragile. Soul Reaver's really falling off though and at the same time. Doesn't give because it doesn't give pen anymore. So he went Hunter's Cow. Oh yeah, I can upgrade my item now. I forgot about that. Uh we're gonna get the the gem of focus, I think it's called. Gives percent increased damage and uh gives you mitigation as well. It's really good. The other one would be good, but I think that's more for like long range poking rather than just all at once. Behind me. That was a good pillar. Block my, my thing. I'm gonna ult him just to disengage. Because this isn't a good uh, fight for me. However, it could become a good fight for me. Never mind. Never mind. It's not gonna be a good fight for me at all. So he technically has double life still. Hmm. Double life still, double uh, protections. But his pen is not that not there right now. I honestly think I should finish Rod before my starter item, just because that ten percent pen. I mean, it's pretty helpful. I always try to wait till the end of that just to buy myself some time for my cooldowns. Because my cooldowns come up way more often than his do. Wow, he is so tanky, man. My Soul Reaver is not even hitting him that hard. Soul Reaver may have been a mistake. Because he went high protections, not so much health. It's kind of the worst thing for Soul Reaver because 
It's getting mitigated because it's magical damage. And it's not doing as much because he doesn't have as much health. If he had one defense item, then it wouldn't be getting mitigated so much at least. Guess who's winning this pillow fight? All right, but at this point, if a fight gets close, I mean, we do a lot. How? That didn't hit him. Oh, God. No, we're going to lose Phoenix. We're going to lose Phoenix. There's no way I can defend this. Oh, no. Look how much he healed. Uh oh. Your middle Phoenix has been destroyed. Minions? Oh. No, 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 no. He's not possible. Your tight is under attack. Well, like I said, sometimes Kumba passive is a blessing or a curse. That sucks. Uh, I should have backed up and went into Fallon, but that's okay. Good game all around. I really wanted to get one final fight with my ultimate uh with Rotatuti, but i couldn't get that i should have backed off and went to found but that's all right I, I i felt like maybe if i get a good alt on him while he's under my phoenix i could defend but no i wasn't able to do that ggs all around and thank you all for watching i really appreciate it and see you guys next time